I'm Stephanie with Baby Black. Having an evening gown hemmed is expensive, but if you're comfortable with a serger or a sewing machine, my goal in this video is to empower you to hem that dress yourself. It's as easy as one, two, three. We are going to mark the hem, cut the hem, and then ultimately stitch that hem. One thing that's really important is when you're hemming a long dress that the wearer needs to stand comfortably. So you wanna make sure that she's not standing very straight, but that she's also not slouching over because if she was slouching over, that would lengthen the hem. And then when she stands up, if we were to cut it off there, it would shorten the hem. So we just need her to stand comfortably. Um, make sure that your feet are about shoulder width apart. And then you also wanna make sure that they're wearing the shoes that they're going to wear for the wedding or prom or homecoming, whatever it is, make sure that they're wearing the same shoes. All right, now we're going to get down on the ground and pin the dress. Kelly is standing comfortably, and I also wanna make sure that she's not looking down, um, because again, if you look down, that could lengthen your hem. So you want to have the wearer just look straight out. So I like to pin the front of the dress first, and looking, a lot of times I'll pin my outer layer and my lining together to know exactly where I um, want to pin. However, this dress, there's a lot of extra fabric compared to the lining. So what I typically do, I'll have Kelly hold, will you hold that layer? And then I just wanna mark my lining first. Okay, so I'm going to mark one pin in the front and I want to do this right at the ground. And one thing I forgot to mention, you'll also want to pin on a hard floor. Um, we tend to sink into carpet, so make sure that you're pinning right at the ground on a hard floor. Okay, and Kelly, if you could keep holding that and make one rotation. So now I'm going to find the side seam, and because this is a chiffon dress, typically you'll find two layers of lining, and those I'll typically pin together. Okay, and we're going to pin it again right at the ground. And it's really important that you don't push the dress up to the body too closely, otherwise it will be too short. So you want the dress just to sit, the fabric, you'll want the fabric just to sit where it naturally lays. So let's have Kelly rotate one more time. All right, and this chiffon layer is kind of hanging in the way, so I'm just going to have her hold that as well. And same thing, you'll have the two layers of lining. You want the dress to sit naturally where it will fall. Okay, and we'll place another pin, again, right at the ground. All right, and one more turn for the lining. And it's really important that you pin both sides. Um, you know, you would just think that you could just place one pin and say it's at two and a half inches and you just cut two and a half inches around the whole thing. But that's not really the case. Um, as you know, all of us are built differently. So someone who might have, let's go ahead and drop this, someone who might have bigger hips that would actually raise the dress hem. Okay, so, you know, and that's same with the stomach or the derriere, it's different on everybody and it can raise or lower the hem. So it can make it uneven, you know, shorter, we need to take off less in the front, more on the sides um, and vice versa. So that's why it's really important to pin all the way around. All right, so now we're going to work on the chiffon layer. So Kelly, if you can turn just a little bit towards me, that's perfect. All right, and the length on the chiffon is actually more, if you can see this, we'll need to cut less off of the lining than the chiffon. So that's why I pin these two separately. All right, so again, I'm just trying to arrange the fabric to how it would naturally fall. And that's how you'll pin it so that it doesn't cut too short. And we're pinning right at the ground. Okay, and if you feel like, for instance, this dress is kind of full, if you feel like you need to place a couple extra pins, by all means, go ahead and place some extra pins. 
Again, I'm going to spread that fabric to where it just sits naturally. And it takes a little bit of playing. So if you pin one and you notice that, you know, it's way too high, um, then just go ahead and move it. All right, so we got a couple pins there on the front. And it's nice to have a couple to compare with each other as well. All right, so let's have Kelly rotate one more time. And I also just wanted to mention, I'm using straight pins here, but if you are not going to hem the dress right away, or if you're scared that those pins are gonna fall out, definitely use safety pins. I use safety pins all the time. And if you have a fuller dress, you'll want to make sure that the side seam is sitting you know, right to the side, not too far to the back. You want it to sit right at the side like it naturally would. All right, we'll place that pin there and make sure it's nice and even with the ground. Okay, go ahead and rotate again. All right, lift up your right heel. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to find my center back seam again. And some gowns have a built-in train. So you just want to make sure that they either want their they want a train or it's not supposed to have a train. Because some that have trains, um, the wearer doesn't want a train. Uh, so that's when you'll want to cut it off. But we're going to cut this right at the ground. So go ahead and rotate the last time. All right, and we're going to pin the final side seam. All right, Kelly, if you can go ahead and rotate one more time. And if you're using straight pins, make sure you tell the person to watch their steps so they don't step on it. Can you lift your right or left foot? Good. Yeah, thank you. So I just like to kind of reassess um, how my pins look. And I'll, again, I'll just kind of move the fabric and make sure that it's sitting right at the ground. And we're pinned. Check out my next video for cutting instructions.